Hello, 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 hello. Hey, this is V. Scott. I'm right back with uh, more news on this guy right here, Daryl Brook. Daryl Brooks, whatever the heck his name is. I don't really care right now. Um, when I was uh, wrapping up the other video and ready to upload it, uh, more news came through. So, it's just, it's awful. An eight-year-old boy has become the sixth person to die from their injuries in the Waukesha Parade attack. So now an eight-year-old child is dead because of this asshole. Here we go. So I'm going to just go ahead and read the article. Daryl Brooks Jr., who was charged with five counts of intentional homicide, will likely face additional charges, prosecutor said on Tuesday, which is today. An eight-year-old boy on Tuesday became the sixth person to die from injuries suffered in the vehicle attack on a holiday parade in Waukesha, Wisconsin on Sunday evening. The death of Jackson Sparks was confirmed by prosecutors Tuesday during the preliminary hearing for the man accused of intentionally driving his SUV through the crowd, killing five adults and injuring at least 48 people among the injured were 18 children aged 3 to 16 years old, including three set of siblings. Daryl Brooks has been charged with five counts of intentional homicide, which could each earn a life sentence with Jackson's death. Waukesha County District Attorney Susan Opera said Brooks, 39, will likely face additional charges. Sparks was marching in the parade with his baseball team when he was struck by the vehicle, according to a GoFundMe page set up by a relative. The boy went through brain surgery on Sunday evening and doctors tested his brain and spine on Monday. The niece of Spock's parents, Alyssa Albro, confirmed Spock's death Tuesday via post on the fundraising page. Spock's 12 years old. Mm. Oh, okay. Spock's 12 year old brother, Tucker, is recovering after he sustained a road rash and fractured skull. Albro added, he returned home from the hospital Tuesday. The court set Brooks cash bill at five million, citing his criminal history, which includes charged charges of reckless endangerment and battery, as well as failure to follow court orders. The court said a motive for Brooks' action is not yet known, but police said Monday that he acted alone and had been involved in a domestic dispute prior to the incident, which we had discussed earlier here when I um talked about it before um it just hurts my soul you know when when small when stuff like this happened it's small babies didn't even get to live a life um my prayers go out to the family my prayers go out to the family.